now that I've got my uh, CNC router working, um, and I've played around with it quite a bit, now it's time to add the plasma cutter to it. Um, so for first, let's get all the router stuff off of this. First thing I'm going to tackle is how to mount this onto here. Um, now, the Balkman 3D, um, he does have the spindle um, brackets that you saw that comes with the kit, but he doesn't actually have one to hold a torch. Now, there are some ones out there that you can buy. Um, unfortunately, they were going to take too much lead time or just way too expensive. So what I actually end up picking up is I got a pair of these brackets. I'll just show you. And these brackets are actually meant to be on your handlebars for an ATV, and then you have you like your spotlight on it. These um, I got from Amazon. They're really cheap and came like the next day for me. Um, thing is, they're not 100% perfect as a fit. Um, so the screws that came with it um, will not work, but M520 screws will allow it to expand enough so that it will actually hold on to the torch. I'm like that's absolutely not going anywhere. Um, another problem with this bracket is that the hole that it comes for, normally you get the spotlight on it, is way too big for any M4, M5 bolt that normally goes into the T-nuts in here. So luckily with my, luckily or unluckily, I got one of these T-nuts um, that originally came with the kit. It didn't actually, it wasn't threaded, so I couldn't actually use it on the kit. But, um, it will, an M4 bolt will actually fit nicely into it, and it acts like a really good washer, see if I can hold that up for you, really good washer for that hole so it doesn't fall through. And then, I just take my little T-nut, that's going to be really hard to see, uh, drop-in T-nut. And it just sits on there like that, slides into my T track. Sometimes getting these drop in T nuts are actually really hard. I wish I could show you with the camera, but. Anyways. It's not the most solid. I would have actually liked to get another bolt on the other side. But for what a plasma cutter is doing, you shouldn't be really hitting that. This is only going to be the cable moving around that's going to actually move this. So really, that feels pretty solid for me. Um, this is probably going to be a little bit more temporary than I normally like. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, I probably will go up with a regular um, straight uh, CNC torch, um, but for now, I'm just going to get the hand going and uh, try and get some of this Christmas stuff out. <laughs> so next up is the communication port or the switch port that normally is from the handle. We want that controlled by the CNC. So to do that, I picked up um, a little connector that actually fits in here, which is a GX16 uh, two pin. Now, depending on the model of your plasma cutter, 
It could be a different size. Um, normally they are the GX16, but some have four pins, and I think I've seen one with five pins. Um, so you have to double check that. The Yes Welder, um, I think this is the, yeah, the West Yes Welder 55 amp that I picked up, it has the two pin GX16. So we're gonna have to make a cable for that so I can plug it into my CNC. <clears throat> so with these cables you will with this cable you will need to solder the wires on this connection um, now if you don't know how to solder or don't want to um, they do sell these cables already pre-made um, that you can just buy uh, me I I really don't yeah I can solder so with this, um, so I got the plug on one side that will go into the plasma. Now the other side gets this because I'm using the um, Spark Connection CNC X Pro version five. They use these connections for the relay connection, and that's just simple hooking up the wires um, with this little connection and this guy gets plugged into the connection box um unfortunately it's really hard to see how i have it mounted where this is going to go so um there'd be a picture right somewhere um that actually shows you it's it's the relay spot it's labeled um and on that control on that particular controller um that relay is um is set up to be with um Anytime the spindle um, command comes down uh, in the G code, it will actually trigger this relay to open. So now that you got your cable made, um, it's just as simple as undoing the switch plug for your torch and just plugging this in. It's actually that, that simple. And that should control the switch I think it's this plug in Whee. Bring it upside down there you go and in theory that should control the switch so um, at this point it's time to throw some steel on it load up some code and see if it will cut Okay, I got everything hooked up for, to the plasma cutter, except for the ground clamp. I'm leaving the ground clamp off, but I got the, the switch that goes, the cable that goes to the relay switch that controls the switch on the trigger or on the plasma cutter. That's hooked up, air compressor is on, so in theory, I should be able to start this um, with a click of a, bu a button and you should hear the air coming out of the trigger or out of the gun as well as i have the pilot on right now the pilot arc on so you'll probably see that go on too so let's try it well that works so Let's get a sheet on here and uh, we'll try cutting something. 